Working with our managers and senior people can be intimidating, but preparing ahead of time and having a clear communication and engagement plan can make the experience much easier. I will take you through a 3C framework, 4C framework, how to prepare for meetings with senior people and how to propose new ideas to senior people that will hopefully make your work life a little bit easier. 3C stands for competence, commitment, compatibility. Competence is all about are you competent? Can you do your job well? Commitment is all about are you committed? Are you happy? Are you excited to be here? Compatibility is all about are you compatible? Do you get along with us? There is so much information out there on how to apply for jobs and how to prepare for job interviews, but there isn't a lot of information about what to do when we actually start in our new roles. This 3C framework will enable you to see yourself from different perspectives, from perspectives of your managers, your co-workers and your customers, clients, stakeholders. Your job is to convince everyone to answer yes to all three questions. You can learn a lot more about the 3C framework from this book called The Unspoken Rules, Secrets to Starting Off Your Career Right by Garik Ang. 4C framework stands for contact, contract, conversation and conclusion. I came across the 4C framework long time ago as part of my coaching training. However, I've since adapted it and redefined it to something that's more tangible and real when it comes to working with senior people. Let's define the 4C framework. Contact is all about establishing contact and building relationships with our stakeholders, which is key and essential to successful communication. It is all about why we need to work together in the first place. Usually, we are being allocated to support a stakeholder as part of our aligned roles. Contract is all about establishing a clear understanding of the expectations of both parties, which is a key to successful collaboration, as in how you are going to work together. Conversation is all about having a meaningful conversation with your stakeholders, which is very important to ensure everyone is on the same page and that both parties are listening to each other. It is all about what we are going to be discussing in our meetings and how we are going to make a change and impact together. Conclusion is all about determining what the next steps will be after each conversation and set a timeline for any implementation if there is a plan or an action plan being agreed. Call for action and regular check-ins are really important to ensure there is progress taking place. Both parties should have some actions allocated, not just you. You can actually download two free Notion templates from my digital store that will really help you prepare for your meetings with managers and stakeholders you have to work with. You will find a list of questions there, a list of suggested agenda, and you can all track it in one place as a reference point as and when you need to refer to certain conversations or as and when you review as to how much work and activity has been done for one particular topic. Now let's talk about how to prepare for meetings with senior people. I am someone who really doesn't like to overthink as to how we are going to to be working together. I really like to go directly into certain questions. For example, I tend to ask questions about their working style, their leadership style, their communication style, what works and doesn't work for them in terms of working styles. My role is really to make sure I can flex myself and adapt myself to ensure I have a very productive and efficient work relationship with this individual. Make sure you show up interested and curious and do homework. Read about relevant data or business performance and people data, find audits, reports, anything really that's published and shared that you can really read before you go into your first or initial first meetings. It is very important to turn up prepared and curious and ask those relevant questions to really understand and negotiate as to how you're going to work together, where you can start helping straight away and what's going to be expected of you for at least next 12 months. This is also an opportunity for you to shine and really manage upward as best as you can and also agree your objectives with with them quite early on to make sure you're not overthinking as to what they really want from you. And always remember the three C questions. Are you compatible? Are you competent? Are you committed? Is something that our senior people will be asking themselves when they start working with us. The next bit is about having meetings with senior people who happen to be super busy people or often have back-to-back -back meetings. And there it is, your meeting in their very super busy diary. And you could be thinking, oh gosh, how do I even approach and prepare for this meeting? I came across a video by Dan Shapiro, who is now a chief operating officer of LinkedIn. And in this video, he actually delivered a presentation to a small group of people as to how to work effectively with executives. Dan actually challenged the group to think about what sort of questions senior people and executives could be asking themselves before they attend a meeting with you. In a nutshell, there are very likely to be two questions. Question one, does this matter? Does it really matter what you have to say and what this meeting is all about? And two, if yes, if it 
matters, how is it going? Give me an update. What are the next steps? Dan suggests that we should grab their attention straight away as soon as the meeting starts, ideally within 60 seconds or maximum two to three minutes. So if you're leading on a particular project that's very important to you, you should remind them as to what the purpose of the meeting is, as in to talk about this particular project. How is it going? Remind them of the rest of the agenda where you hope to get their views, guidance or direction and what the next steps are. Now, in terms of your update as to whether your project is going really well or whether your project is not going so well, Dan also suggests there is a particular way and approach that we can use to deliver both messages, negative and positive. So, for example, let's say you're leading on a project that's doing really well and that's what your meeting is all about, is to give an update as to where things are and perhaps you need more guidance and views as to how to proceed with next steps. When you are delivering a message that's saying it's doing really well, it is very important to break down the reasons as to why it's going really well. So think about scale, size, numbers, data, anything else really you can come up with to really demonstrate and provide evidence as to why your project is doing really well. Now in the second scenario, as an example, we may find ourselves leading on particular projects that are not doing really well. And now we have to talk about this with a senior person. Again, think about breaking down the reasons as to why this project is not doing really well. So think about scale, size, numbers, data, anything else really that's useful as evidence as to why this project is not doing well. And when you finish giving that update, think about explaining as to what else you are going to do or put in place to change the direction of this project. This is also your opportunity to ask them about their views and their guidance and their experience that you can take into account when you are developing your action plan. And the last part of this video is how to propose new ideas to senior leaders that will hopefully be approved and supported. Dan suggested we think about it as an elevator pitch to think about our energy and energy levels on the day. Are we really excited by this idea I'm proposing and talking about? And also to think about our credibility. Do I really believe I can pull this off if I get support and approval to proceed with this proposal? In terms of how to structure visually our proposal, it is also suggested we spend equal amount of time on talking about the problem and solutions. Let's look at the visual to make it easy for us to understand. We should start describing the problem at a very high level quite clearly. And this is really to build up their interest into what we actually have to talk about. We then need to make them feel confident really quickly by demonstrating credibility and providing the relevant details. As in, I know why we have this problem in the first place, because I am experienced, knowledgeable, I've done my research, I've got lots of data supporting this problem statement. We then should talk about solutions. As in, I have a high level description of a solution with relevant specifics as to why this may work. Again, this is actually to make them feel interested and build up an interest in some of these solutions. And we should then finish it off by making them feel confident we can actually pull this off, as in this is what we're going to do to deal with this particular problem. So you need to turn up with an action plan attached to your problem statement and some of these solutions to really have a conversation as to whether they are supportive of your proposal or not. That's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions and if you have any other ideas or concepts or frameworks that really work well for you. If you have liked this video, there are many other similar ones on my channel, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.